little fuss. If you haven't yet followed my YouTube channel, The Genius Way of Cooking, go on YouTube and follow that channel. We're gonna make some stew chicken. Alright? Come and look at the ingredients that we have today. We got some ginger. Oh, our camera's messing up. This is all the stuff we have making some stew chicken. Maggie seasoning. Wicked blend. Alright, some planting. And we have some raw chicken. Walk y'all through the steps of making some stew chicken. Already chopped it up, already clean. Everything is good and going. Very simple. I'm going to show you how to do this. Watch y'all learn from the boss. The boss himself. Cameraman, beg y'all blight. Boom. Let's get this going. Right here. Stew seasoning. Right? A little bit of ginger. Oops, Take your time. Right? Good to go. A little bit of uh, granulated garlic. Granulated onion. Vintage, our brand, right? Flavor enhancer, this is really good. Don't boost the flavor. Maggi, I'm going to go crazy because we're using a lot of seasoning for flavor. Chip. Y'all see that? Just for the sake of it, I'm gonna add. I'm gonna tell y'all something about this seasoning right here. I can put this seasoning in there, and this is all I need. This is an all-in-one season. I make this brand. All in one. See that? Everything you need to make stew chicken, you just use this by itself. But I'm gonna just add this a little bit more. I like the overseas. Remember, you gotta pour water on this. After you fry it up for a second, that, I'm going to add a little bit more of the vintage, which is the all in one, all purpose seasoning as well. Alright? Mix that around again. Oil. 
Good to go. Gotta fry it first, so that way you can get it nice and crispy, get, get the color and the flavor, everything going. garlic in there. There we go, nice and hot. In with the chicken. brown in the chicken right now. That's all you're doing. Nothing crazy. Very simple. Y'all see this? Vintage. This is pineapple sauce. Gets busy in here. Sweet Scotch bonnet. Look at this one. Woo! Bye, ya. I got jerk sauce, which we have. I haven't put the label on this one yet, but this is the um, spicy jerk sauce, and the blue top is the mild jerk sauce, which is um, these sell like nothing, and then. If you look down here, I got um, vintage kettle corn, right? Actually, I got pimento right here. And I'll put a little bit of this inside of the, the stew chicken while it's cooking down. But this is the stew blend that's in here. I have a curry blend. You can make curry chicken with this by itself. You don't need nothing else, just curry chicken. Uh, what else I got back here? I got to re-up on my product, but um, that's the all-purpose right there, and we missing, uh, we got oxtail blend, uh, curry blend, stew blend, all-purpose, and jerk blend, I think the jerk is finished, but anyway, back to the pot, all I'm doing is browning this up here. nice and crisp and then I'll show y'all I'm gonna show y'all the like the the next step after this is pretty simple you just want to brown this up let it just fry off a little bit this is the garlic right now and I'll um, put some in there I'll put the extra flavor green pepper and the red pepper don't go in there until you're ready to like cook it down a little bit. So that's kind of like the last step. One of the last steps I should say. Make sure y'all wash y'all vegetables. Don't go to the store. Go buy vegetables. And then, um, you know, just put them in your pot. Not good. Understand? So far, good to go. Actually, need to sharpen my knife. This part right here is like, like bitterish. I don't ever even use like the white part. I'm mad bitter. But if you like, you can use it. Then I'll just take this. Drop that apart. I don't even need a lot because I'm not cooking a lot of food. So maybe half of this. And then that's it.
slice them down in half. Get to go. And then I add a little bit more onion. Almost there. I'm about to go ahead and pour some water on this in a minute. That's some warm water. I'm probably warm water that I want. Now I'm about to pour some water on this. You're gonna pour just enough to um to cover the chicken. All that stuff right there, that's all flavor right there. Beautiful. Again, if y'all haven't yet followed my channel, go on YouTube and uh, I'll put a link down below. So I'm um, about to pour some water in right now. I think we're gonna need a little bit more. Yeah, it should be good. That's good. Yep. All right. See? Pour the water on there. They're gonna be surprised how that final product looks. All right, remember. Um, put those in there. Um, half of your green red pepper, some more fresh onion. All right. Fermento seeds, just a couple, don't get crazy. Beautiful. Yeah, that looking good. That's looking good. I like when I pour the water on it, I like to add a little bit more seasoning on top of it. And trust me, it's not going to be over seasoned. I've done this um, plenty of times. So I'm going to add a little bit more of, the, of this on there. Alright. I'm going to add some. Um, I'm going to add some more of this stew blend. I'm going to show you all the kicker when I'm done. And the flavor enhancer. Put a little bit of magic on there. Good to go. Matter of fact, for the sake of the argument, I'm going to add a little bit more Maggie too. That's it. It's over. Alright. That is perfect. After you get everything all in there, the kicker is hold on for a second ever um, is the ketchup that's where you get that nice uh that nice color and you, you know that ketchup helps with it give it a nice little flavor on top we're about to do that right here that's good enough for the ketchup. See that little bit right there? That will help right there. When I close the top and just let this simmer, I'm gonna bring this water to a boil first and then I'm gonna turn my, my fire down to medium. And then um, I'm gonna let it cook out. And the gravy will thicken it by itself. But if it does not, or you cooking like restaurant style, use some cornstarch or something like that to thicken it up to make a gravy so your food don't dry out. All right. There you have it. Stew chicken. Simple, nice, easy. All right.
I'll take some uh I'll take some photos and some pictures when I'm all done to make a nice beautiful plate. So thank you guys again. Uh follow my channel and then I'll make another recipe actually putting this on YouTube that way I can you guys can go on and you know make it. Well, I Music of your people jump and dance Rock out, 